Welcome, and this is IR Vibes, Info Entertainment Reviews. Currently, March 12, 2017, coming from the Valley of the Sunrise. Lots of love to everybody out there. Thank you all for the support, and much love to the most recent Vibes support subscribers, you guys. You guys are not just a subscriber. You guys are part of the Vibes Foundation here on YouTube, keeping this all up and going. And also, I want to mention, thank you to those who have been definitely keeping a lookout. Uh, those of you who have messaged me, gave me a heads up, hey, you know, this and this. Really appreciate that. You guys are really showing the love. Now, let's go ahead and get into this real quick and show you here. Uh, in the meantime, continue waiting for the Earthquake 3D that I actually use while I'm doing some system upgrades and some changes here. Now take a look at this. This is today's seismic activity 4.9. Magnitude earthquake hits northern mid-Atlantic ridge following by, take a look here, Puerto Rico as always. Now it's considered Dominican Republic, but of course covering this whole area. Following by 3.3 magnitude quake, and that's multiple. For some reason, this is not giving me anything for the west coast nor oklahoma nor for montana as well for the east coast but also take a look here 4.5 mexico getting struck and as we start hitting into the red zone these are where the quakes get bigger now continuing on here take a look at this 5.0 magnitude hits the central east pacific rise and let's go ahead and take a stroll on over as i've been saying about fiji now the last update i did I was unable to go ahead and do that update due to some software on the computer systems. But as I predicted and told you guys, usually I never say something unless I know I'm going to be 90% correct. And other than that, I definitely will not mislead anybody when it comes to doing this forecast. This is some serious stuff, so I definitely want to be on point. Now, Fiji got hit not long ago with a really good size magnitude shake and i did say within the coming few days possibly two weeks to come do expect another six or above magnitude well guess what just a couple days later fiji got hit if i'm not mistaken with a 6.5 and continuing on fiji getting another six magnitude and has been receiving quite a bit of six magnitude quakes nothing on less now take a look here here we are, 5.6 magnitude earthquake. Let me get this globe to stroll back around. 5.6 magnitude, and this hit south-southeast, 151 kilometers of Ra'u's Island, which is New Zealand, starting to wake up and pick up on seismic activity. New Zealand has been quiet for quite some time. Here's Fiji with that 4.5, which is Solomon Islands within that area, following by, take a look at this, Indonesia, 4.5 magnitude and continuing on Samaki Indonesia with a 5.2 now let's go ahead and jump into these red zones as these are the most important areas for the seismic activity continuing right here with a 5.4 this is south southeast 228 kilometers uh Makizari Japan and Japan another worry because they have been getting tons and tons of activity Continuing on right here, take a look at this, you guys, 5.4, right up in the heart of Japan. We cannot afford another Fukushima. And just a quick update, with the earthquakes occurring in California, I've told everybody, but here's the funny part. Nobody seems to really care. People just tend to care less, figure let it come, and there's a lot of people who are waiting for it waiting to pull out those signs welcoming the breakage of the san andreas being a little sarcastic there but again you guys there are people out there and they are seriously sitting and waiting for the big one to come because they want to be part of that quake or that event but here's the thing this whole time now usgs they are coming out and saying that is beyond the limits and levels that they've even predicted or they've even thought of well of course now if you're smart enough like many of us folks out here you know there are smart people but again you guys people would use their mind use their knowledge it's obvious 
that is way beyond what anybody could imagine. And now people are still sitting there. Now you got a lot of those people who are ready and those people who have left. And it just, the point is, people are just sitting there because nobody cares. But then when it comes down to it, and your pants get yanked off and you ain't got nothing to wear, well then guess what? You're probably going to care once you're in the middle of that situation. But in the meantime, guys, get the word out because nobody tends to care. Nobody's listening to what's going on. But, you know, all we could do is just keep you guys updated with what is going on globally with the earthquakes, but not just that with California. California and Napa, California, they just got hit with a good size magnitude, which blew out some windows, damaged some buildings. And again, you guys, I've been saying this for the longest time. I'm one of many other forecasters who update you and who have been doing this longer than I have. And they've mentioned this multiple times, but nobody sends to get it. That time is coming around the corner. And I tell you what, when it happens, so much for Oregon, Washington, California, and so much for Mexico. And who knows how far into Canada that the effect could go in. We don't know if it could split parts of Canada. Because there are areas, which I consider weak zones, that do start to run in to the shorelines of Canada. I will do an update later on and show you guys through satellite map which will certainly blow your mind. But again, other than that, this is currently the latest earthquake forecast. Stay tuned in for later here on IR Vibes, YouTube, Info Entertainment Reviews, as there's going to be much more to come. Lots of love. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like, and become a Vibes supporter if you have not yet done so already. Always live, love, smile, heads up high, feet grounded.